Hello gang and welcome to another Salesforce Weekly video post. Two in two weeks, we are spoiling you. So today I want to walk you through the surveys functionality that came as part of Spring 18. So let's jump into it and find out all about surveys. Let's start with an introduction then. Now surveys probably don't need too much of an introduction. I'm sure you get what they are. For a while we've had third party options for surveying on Salesforce, things like SurveyMonkey, Get Feedback, uh, Form Assembly. But this is the first native version of a surveys functionality. So let's talk about how we get it and then we'll dive into a demo. So the surveys functionality is available as part of Spring 18. So we're in the sandbox preview window at the moment, getting close to a production deployment. So it's going to be there pretty, pretty soon. But when we say available in Spring 18, this is worth noting. It's only free if you have Health Cloud. If you have some Health Cloud licenses in your org, then you will get this surveys functionality for free. There is an add on cost for other licenses. I have not yet seen what that add on cost is. But let's just talk about why it's free for Health Cloud. Now, Health Cloud has a number of um, use cases that really apply to surveys. So maybe it's a pre-surgery assessment that you want to give a patient or at the end of some uh, patient satisfaction survey, for example, at the end of some process. So Health Cloud has really been the, the cloud that's led the development of surveys and really, really pushed for it the hardest. Um, and because it has more use cases than perhaps some other clouds, it becomes the service functionality is free in Health Cloud. As we say, we don't know the add-on cost yet, but, um, but check it out because I'm sure it will be comparable to some of those third-party options that we mentioned earlier. Now, this is diving into a bit of the technical detail, but one thing that I find interesting with surveys from, uh, from a brief look around the pre-release org that I have, they are based on, but they're separate from flow. What I mean by that is that there are some flow paradigms that you will see uh, mirrors of in surveys. So the first is the, the concept of versions, the fact that each survey can have many different versions, but only one can be active at any one time. And whereas when we build a flow, whenever we execute that flow as a user or as a customer, we have a flow interview that gets created. Surveys is similar. We have a survey that we define and then a survey invitation that is actually the, the way that we link that flow to a specific individual and have it executed. Now, when you've run your surveys, you're going to want to analyze the results. That's one of the main reasons that you would run your surveys to see what the data is telling you. The surveys tool in Salesforce does come with a built in, very simple analytics page, which I'll show you as part of a demo in a moment. But often you might want to crunch your own numbers and run your own reports. So it's worth noting that you get a custom report type um, that you can build. And on those surveys, survey interview, survey response objects, that you can basically splice, uh, slice and dice it however you, you want to see that data in your own reports. And then the last thing to mention, this surveys functionality really has two key audiences. You can survey uh, internal employees or external customers. For customers, the surveys are surfaced in a community. So you need a community active to, to allow customers to complete surveys. And one of the things that we get with this surveys functionality is a new community builder component so that we can drag a component into our community through the builder and that will allow our community users to access the survey. Okay, um, that's probably enough of an introduction. So why don't we jump in and we'll see a quick demo. Okay, so here we are in our Spring 18 pre-release org. Now, one thing to note is the pre-release org that I needed to get was an Enterprise Edition version. Uh, I had a previous pre-release de Developer Edition account, which did not have surveys included. So if you're looking to play around in the pre-release, Enterprise is uh, the or one of the editions that has surveys enabled. Okay, talking of enabling surveys, that is where you start. So we're in the setup menu here. Once you have um, the right licenses or the right add-on products in your environment, uh, which obviously isn't relevant for pre-release, but once it goes into production, then you'll be able to access the surveys area of the setup and you just uh, click on enabled here. And if we jump into the application, once you enable surveys, you get access to a brand new surveys tab. You'll see I have a survey that I've started work on here. We'll use this, and um, so we'll dive into this survey. And 
one of the options we have here is open latest version. So this is this goes back to some of that versioning aspect that I talked uh, about when I said that surveys are similar in some ways under the hood to flows. One way they're different though is if I open that latest version, you will see this is not a flow builder. This is a brand new survey builder. All right, so let's have a look at uh, the three areas um, that we have when we build and distribute our survey. We have a view page, which is where we can configure the survey. We have send and we have analyze. What I'll do is I'll go in and edit this survey because this already has an active version. I just get a warning here that it's going to uh, cause a new version to, um, to be created and we need to activate that when we need it. Okay, so let's look at the first of the three areas, which is of course defining and building our survey. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is this branding option on the left here. We can swap out this default background image and we can play around with any background images opacity and image blur. And of course we can brand uh, in terms of coloring some of our, our text, our buttons, etc. So we can really kind of make the survey feel like our own and feel like part of our org. And then we have two other bu uh, buttons next to the branding, which is that we can view our survey, uh, our survey screens as a list or as a set of tiles. Now, whichever option you pick, the main area here in the in the kind of the body of the page is where you define each page of your survey. The survey has a top and a tail. So the top is this kind of welcome page. And there's a few properties you can select. You can select whether you want this description to appear or not. Um, and of course, you can select your font, uh, text style, etc., and really kind of welcome people to the survey. We'll come back to the tail of the survey, which is a thank you page uh, in a moment. But first, let's look at some of the questions that we have set up in this example survey. So this is a, an example of um, a single select question. So we're asking someone to pick a single favorite color option. And you'll see on the properties here, we can also select whether this question is required or not. And if we go ahead to the second uh, slide, the second page of questions, this looks like a very similar question, but this is actually a multi-select. So when we see the front end, the user experience of this survey, we'll be able to select from multiple options here. It's not just selections though, you can ask your user to give you a, a score. So you can, um, there's one of the question options is rating. And if I click on our question here, you'll see the others. So we have radio, which is our single select option multiple choice options, or the user can enter some text, specify a rating as we saw, or provide a date. And then the final page is the tail um, of the top and tail kind of aspect, which is basically just a thank you page. This is what they'll see when they go through all the questions and the survey has been submitted. Okay, when you've defined your survey, the next thing you're gonna to want to do is, is send it. So let's look at the send page now. And if we click this button, you'll see that we can grab a survey link, either for participants in our own company. And if it's internal, we can choose to anonymize responses or to let participants see their responses once they've been submitted. Or we can uh, send our survey to participants outside the company. But as we mentioned earlier, we need a community enabled to do that. And I don't have a community active in this org, so I won't be showing you that today. Um, but we talked about the component, the surveys component you can pull into the community builder. So it's 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 a pretty frictionless process to do that. But for us, let me copy this link and I'm going to complete this survey as an external user. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'll open up a new browser and we'll we'll paste in our link here. And you'll see now we are viewing the survey as an end user. So we have our welcome page. We can step through our options. So we can say my favorite color is Salesforce blue. Uh, I use Service Cloud and Health Cloud. And this survey, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Why don't we rate it pretty highly? And then when we click finish, the survey gets submitted back into the org and we see our thank you page. And of course, then the third point, so the third part of, of putting the survey is you want to see the results. So let's click on our analyze page now and see what we have. And this is what I talked about earlier when I said there's a very simple analytics page to, to, to let you see the raw results of the survey. So we see how many surveys have been completed or in progress, uh, the status of all of those surveys that are out there. And each question, for each question, we get a donut chart with the, 
the, the response is. So we can start to slice and dice that data and see on aggregate, what is this survey telling us? What are the, uh, the survey respondents telling us about our, our questions? Okay, and that's the end of the demo. So now I'm gonna hop back into the deck and just run you through a few other things around surveys. Because I want to share some of the roadmap information that I've heard on uh, on a couple of recent webinars and um, and from doing a bit of digging. Because this is version one of the surveys functionality, and this is what we can expect to see over the next uh, the next couple of releases. So the first thing is a full email editor for that send page. So you'll notice that uh, all we did when we click send is it just gave us the option to copy the link, and then it's up to us to go and distribute that link. The idea is to have a full uh, embedded email editor on that page so that you can actually send emails out to a bunch of people um, and get the, get the survey sent out there much more easily from within the builder. Next, we have logic that's coming. So the idea of branching questions. So if you say, um, um, when I say I had Service Cloud as a product, maybe I want to branch that, that respondent off and answer some questions about their experience with Service Cloud, for example. So the idea of, of having dependent questions based on earlier answers, that's in the works as well. And then this one is, as far as I'm aware, for Health Cloud only, but it's interesting and I'm hoping they'll open it up to other clouds, which is the ability to take a survey on behalf of a customer. So when we talked about some of the some of the health cloud use cases earlier, one of those was a pre-surgery assessment. And maybe you have a contact center that is in, responsible for contacting patients before, before surgery, before a procedure, and you're gonna get a much higher response rate if those contact staff actually walk the patient through the survey and answer it via the phone, for example. So this is coming to health cloud. Let's uh, let's see if it's uh, if it makes it into other clouds as well. But I think this is quite an interesting way of um, uh, of, of making this survey functionality a bit wider, having wider appeal and, and satisfying more use cases. OK, and that's it. That's uh, our intro to surveys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're looking forward to spring 18 and uh, thank you for watching.